So if you've seen my other videos on my 94 Accord Wagon, you'll recognize this computer. This was the VTEC computer that I got to do my VTEC swap on my car with. This computer seemed like it was fine at first. It turned out not being a good computer. It had some problems. Hey, let me make it exhibit it. So I'm gonna put it in the... I wound up getting a new VTEC computer to replace it. But before I get into that, let me take this apart and show you what was wrong with it. So here's the inside of the computer. In here there's a capacitor right there, which I have removed. There was a capacitor there where my Sharpie mark is. Those capacitors had ruptured. They blew out the bottom so I couldn't see them. There was no identifying signs of them being blown other than some corrosion which I had to look really close to find. I wound up pulling them off and they were both totally blown. Those two capacitors alone being corroded and not actually working right was enough to create an intermittent situation where you would start the car and sometimes it would spit and sputter really hard and send a, a number one cylinder sensor code off on the check engine light, basically pointing at the distributor sensors as the fault for this computer issue. Sometimes it would run perfectly fine and have no problem whatsoever until about 10 minutes after it was running and you turned the car off and then tried to start it and it would give you a weird no start kind of start and then spit and sputter and send that same check engine light code off. The electrolyte inside of the capacitors had leaked out on the board and had corroded and rusted those areas. So to get all those cleaned up, what I did is I took vinegar, took distilled white vinegar on a Q-tip and scrubbed those areas really good and got them down to where they're salvageable. I was lucky and it didn't damage the board hard enough to not be salvageable. So if I practice my soldering skills, I might be able to replace these capacitors and this will be a usable computer again. However, I went ahead and I bought a new VTEC computer to put in here. Here's the new computer I got from a shop called Salty Flats on eBay. It's the same exact model computer. It's the POA, the P0A A51 by IPT. This one, the date the date year on it is 95, so it's perfect ECU for my application. This really surprised me because the inside of this is absolutely immaculate. Let me open up the lid and show you. It was listed as pulled from a very low mileage vehicle. Well, look at that. Super clean just absolutely beautiful it's just pristine it was amazing how clean this ECU is I've seen some nice condition ECUs but this one took the cake so supposedly these are all pulled all the computers that they sell at least under that listing they had tons of them in stock and these things are supposed to be pulled from low mileage units and they're, they're not kidding. They look practically brand new and this, this was a used item. So definitely check them out. There's Salty Flats on eBay. I'll put the, the name up the way that it's spelled. If you're in the United States and you need a computer for your Honda Accord, as you're doing either a VTEC swap or you just need a replacement for your F22B1 uh, computer, this would be where you could get one. Definitely would be Salty Flats on eBay. This fixed all of the intermittent no start, all of the weird intermittent check engine light and everything. This computer is awesome. It runs so well with this computer and VTEC works perfectly with it. I wanted to share my experience with that. I was not expecting to find a seller that had it in this good a shape. Now I did pay for it. I think it was like 150 for this computer, but I mean, I was already kind of up shit creek, and it was not very fun driving around with the F22B2 computer. These Accords don't act like older Civics would, where, you know, you put a non-VTEC computer in on a VTEC car, and, 
and it drives and shifts perfectly fine. Man, trying to run a F22B1 VTEC engine head with a F22B2 engine computer up anywhere past, I think, 3500 or 4000 RPM, it spits and sputters and it just raises hell and doesn't actually go anywhere. So you have to manually shift it around like 3500 RPM uh, to be able to make it down the road or back and forth to work or whatever, but it's not very safe because if you ever had to get out of the way of a semi or do anything, you know, that was important, it's not going to be able to be there for you. Run the computer that's meant for your Accords engine head. If it's VTEC, run a VTEC computer. If it's non-VTEC, use a non-VTEC computer. I wanted to share that information because uh, that's pretty important. I unfortunately ran into this situation because I had gathered that one computer from the junkyard months ago and just encountered this problem whenever I went to actually throw the project together. Hopefully this helps somebody. Now the good thing is now that I have one of these that does need some repairs that I will need to practice on, this I could use to experiment with shipping. So. If I can fix this myself and get good enough with my soldering, I could use this to experiment with ECU chipping. Because I have the chipping kits, I just haven't had time to practice to be able to chip an ECU yet.